Hey guys, what's up? This is Nate here, and along with the release of iOS 5 Beta 6 yesterday, Apple also seeded iCloud Beta 8, as well as OS Lion 10.7.2. So the iCloud client will be located in System Preferences if you are on a Mac. The clients on both Windows and Mac look exactly the same. The only difference is if you're on Windows, it will be an external client, since there's no System Preferences. So to set up iCloud, you first have to head into Mail, Contacts, and Calendars. And you can see here my iCloud account is already set up. You can add an iCloud account by simply choosing that from the list and entering your, both your Apple ID and password and you're good to go. Next, let's head into the client itself. So this client here looks very similar to the way the iCloud settings do look on iOS. So you have the ability to enable or disable any of the following features. We have mail and notes, contacts, calendars, bookmarks, photo stream, documents and data, back to my Mac as well as find my Mac. You can edit the account details here. So you can change the name or the description of the account. And down here you get a little progress bar which gives you an idea of how much storage you have left in the cloud. Currently I've barely made a dent only using 24.78 of my available 25. You can get a breakdown of how much data each of these features is using here in the cloud by clicking on manage. And you'll see here I've only used 120 megabytes worth of mail storage. I've used 75.3 megabytes with my latest iPhone backup. And then these three items here are just my iWork beta applications that, th that I've been testing out as far as transferring uh, documents from my iDevices to the cloud and back. And I barely made a dent with those either. So when you get an iCloud account this fall, Apple will give everybody 5 gigabytes for free. If you are coming from a mobile me account like me, Apple will give you 25 gigabytes to start off with. So that's what I had. So you do have the ability to buy more storage. So currently I got this for free since I had mobile me, but if you are a free user and you want to get a total of 25 gigabytes, you can get an additional 20 gigabytes by paying $40. If you want to get the 50 gigabytes, you can pay $100 and then in addition to your five free, you'll have a total of 55. You also have the ability to downgrade at any time if you choose to do that, but I don't want to do that since I got this for free. So this has been a look at the iCloud client. If you are on Mac, it will be bundled this fall with the 10.7.2 update. If you are on Windows, I'm assuming Apple will bundle the iCloud client with the iTunes 10.5 update. So please leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this client. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.